Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm doing a commentary video for Men of War. This is the multiplayer battle. I command the Americans, and my opponent is Spartan Sniper in command of the Japanese. Alright, I cut off the first few minutes of this battle, and basically what you missed was me driving my opponent out of this little uh, workshop area. You can still see that we're fighting on the outskirts of the center here, and I just tossed a grenade into that big mass of Japanese troops. And I scattered them for the most part, but you can still see that there's one or two more guys over there. But this whole center right here, this is basically under my control effectively. But in the first few minutes, we're both fighting for the center. And I slowly but surely pushed them to the very edge of the center here. And he only has a few amount of troops left. And I'm going to break some troops around the flank here. And here's some troops, some Japanese troops on the, uh, on the outside of the center. And here I made the mistake of uh, letting my machine gunners stand out in the open because they are ripe targets for these uh, Japanese assault infantry. So they're easily going to take out my machine gunners right there. Which is fine. I got more troops. Anyways, um, you missed several kills. When I first started the video, the score was uh, 28 to 13. But you can see that the score is now 37 to 19. Anyways, um, there's some Japanese troops right there in the, in the bushes. And I'm going to go for a hook shot with my soldier here. And with this shot, we'll see what happens. Bam, I took out two or three uh, Japanese infantry right there. And I'm going to toss some more grenades here. I just want to uh, flush them out of these bushes so that I can push out of the center. So this battle is proceeding kind of like the last battle that I had, where I was able to take command of the center. And then the fight was going to take place on the outskirts of the uh, the center. Right here I've got a sniper. I'm going to move him up a little bit. I'm going to get them into action. See, so that's what a sniper likes. They like to see uh, at least at least a few kills. Okay, so I'm going to push my guys up here. And I, for some reason I forgot that there were still Japanese troops over there, so I lost two guys right there carelessly. Alright, but I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to move a, uh, a soldier up, this is my submachine gunner, and I'm going to lob a grenade over there. And this is a Hail Mary pass, and watch this, let's see what happens. Boom, I took him out. Alright, so yeah, um, when you're getting into uh, close combat situations like this, the uh, grenade becomes more important. And here's another grenade, and that took out like three Japanese troops right there. Alright, so that's pretty much all of the uh, Japanese troops that my opponent had um, fighting in this uh, little center here. So I'm free to uh, take complete control of the center now. And here I'm calling up some more troops. And here I'm going to opt for the uh, SMG infantry just because they're, they're quicker than the uh, machine gunner that I was going to get. And right there is a uh, Japanese target. He is running away. And I'm going to bring one of my troops up here, towards the fence. And right there's a whole cluster of uh, Japanese troops behind those sandbags. And they gunned down my my dude right there. Alright, here's my SMG squad. That's the one that I called earlier. And I'm going to bring them right next to that, to that uh, brick wall. And I'm going to start a fight with these uh, Japanese troops across that road right there. Alright. So uh, I believe this is the uh, the workshop map, and as you can see, it's uh, it's nighttime and it's also uh, raining and thundering. And there I'm gonna call some uh, rangers out, and I'm gonna deploy them on my left flank. I hear I was trying to toss a grenade over that wall, but apparently that was too far for my guy to throw. So here I'm gonna keep trying to uh, toss a grenade. But my guy keeps wanting to uh, to run around the entire fence. So I'm going to give up on that enterprise. Alright, my next course of action, I'm going to uh, engage them in the uh, in the ugly manner. And that is a uh, with a frontal assault. So first I'm going to pop some smoke there to obscure the vision of those uh, Japanese troops. Then I'm going to cross out in the open here. There I didn't wait for enough smoke to appear before I did that, so I lost the guy right there. But well, that's fine. 
Alright, now that that smoke's nice and thick, I'm going to uh, run one of my uh, soldiers out there and lob a grenade behind that those uh, sandbags. And there goes about three Japanese riflemen. Four Japanese riflemen. Alright, so I'm slowly but surely uh, clearing the way for my, for my troops. And right there you can see my target retinals, those are my snipers. That means they have those dudes in their sights and they are ready to fire. And I'm look, if you look at the bottom left, you can see a portrait of my sniper. They get some pre, pretty cool looking uh, foliage on their helmets. Okay, so what's going on here? I'm just bringing up my sniper team. I'm going to harass my opponent, who's hiding behind those uh, sandbags. Theoretically, I could just sit on my enormous lead, but that's really no fun. I'm going to let you watch some sniper action here. Let's see how fast my snipers take these guys out. There's one, there's two down, three down, and four down. But unfortunately, two of those guys are going to get back up and run away. But that's fine, because that's what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to run away from those sandbags, so that I can advance forward here and push deeper into uh, Japanese territory. Alright, see that guy right there? He's trying to uh, bandage his head. And that's just going to serve as a target for my snipers. And here we go. Bam. There he goes. And at this point, my opponent's demoralized. So uh, Spartan Sniper is going to leave the game. There he goes. He has left the game. Which is kind of ironic because he is named after a sniper. And I use snipers against him. So now these uh, remaining Japanese troops are leaderless. So I'm going to have to mop them up because my opponent decided not to uh, command them anymore. So, uh, first order of business, I'm going to attack that sandbag once again. So I'm going to use some, uh, some smoke here as a preliminary for my fire and movement. So here comes one of my dudes, and I'm going to use this guy to, uh, to uh, toss a grenade, and he's going to wreak havoc on those uh, Japanese troops right there. He gets a little too close to him though, but he's still alive. So we're going to race up to those uh, sandbags, and we're going to fight at extreme close range with the uh, Japanese troops. So here's a close-up of the action. I'm getting flanked, but um, I'll let these guys take care of that. So there's a dude on the flank shooting at me, and we gunned him down. So we have uh, taken control of this little uh, sandbag area. So we're going to push forward deeper into uh, Japanese territory, and finally another uh, Japanese unit appears, and it's right back there. It is a, uh, a crew in command of that little artillery piece back there. So my guys are already uh, shooting at it. And here's a close-up of what it is. It's a little artillery gun. And we have uh, taken that dude out. Alright, there's like two minutes left. And you can see the score. I'm going to uh, take command of that uh, that cannon piece, and I'm going to turn it around and locate the remaining Japanese troops. But as you can see, there are no more Japanese troops. The battle's over. All right, so I killed 50 troops and I lost 20 troops. Good game to my opponent.